I am going to show you great coverage on my friend Kelly. I am using Ion Permanent 5RV with 20 volume on her roots. Her gray is mostly in the hairline and her growth rate is pretty fast. This is new growth after six weeks. With root touch-ups, you don't want to let it get too far away from the scalp because it gets hard to blend the color without it leaving ugly color bands. I am applying the color in sections, making sure to saturate for maximum coverage. Then I am going to clip the section away. I am starting in the front since that's where the gray hair resides the most and to make sure it processes fully. After 45 minutes of application and processing, I am going to spray a little bit of water on the hair and do what is called a color refresh where the ends pick up tone from the processed color to refresh without darkening or over processing. I'm gonna massage this in for just a couple minutes. A root touch up is just that. You should not be applying the full permanent color to the ends each time. Next, I am going to rinse with cool water until the water runs clear and then use the Monos Hair Curl Collection Curl Hydrator Shampoo to cleanse and hydrate the strands. This shampoo is great for all textures and as you can see, color treated hair. I'm going to massage this through for about a minute or so and then rinse out and apply the Ion Color Defense After Color Sealer. This is a post-color treatment that restores pH and seals in the color, helping it stay in the strand longer and with full luminosity. After two or three minutes, we are going to rinse this out and get ready to deep condition. I am going to apply the curl restoring treatment in sections, detangle and clip it away. This elasticity treatment is great for restoring protein moisture balance to textured hair while helping detangle with less. This formula is designed to spread with water so you can have slip without overusing. Kelly is challenging herself to grow her hair out as she usually keeps cutting it into different cuts. So we are using this treatment weekly to make sure her ends stay intact while consistently coloring her hair. After detangling, I am going to use the Hot Head Deep Conditioning Cap to process this treatment for about 15 minutes and then we will rinse out and prepare for blow drying. I am using the Apogee Restructurizer and Caracare Thermal Wonder Spray for a leave-in and thermal protectant combo. Then I will divide her hair into small sections so I do not have to stop once I start to use the blow dryer. The leave-in in my collection is okay for blow dryer use, but it's not recommended for direct heat of flat irons or curling irons because it was not formulated to manage hundreds of degrees of heat physically pressing into the strand. I have gotten great results with these two on myself and others, so I'm going with it. I am using my Ion Magnesium Ceramic Blow Dryer and Denman Black Nine Row Styling Brush, which is designed for thermal styling. I am going to apply tension with the brush from the roots and then use the blow dryer in an angled sweeping motion to dry the cuticle at the appropriate angle. Even though Kelly has a lot of texture and her hair is quite dense, it releases and smooths easily because that curl restoring treatment has her elasticity in check, so her hair is strong yet flexible and styles with ease. She's been using my products since September and her hair is already on another level of healthy. So. I know I can let her have a blowout when she wants one and not have to be concerned about damage. The products you use, plus the styling method, plus the tools used make all the difference in how your hair maintains and behaves. One thing that I love about Ion Color is the red range. Most color systems struggle to process red tones in textured hair because red molecules are larger and often have a hard time penetrating fine strands, especially if the porosity is low. I am always able to get great red hues on various hair types without pre-lifting with Ion Color. I purposely make Kelly's roots darker because red fades as it's washed. That's just what it does. So by the time it gets away from her scalp, I have this beautiful mixture of reds that settle in an ombre effect. 
Keeping the roots darker than the ends makes her hair look fuller and provides her with extended gray coverage. After all the sections are dry, I am going to do a little ends cleanup. I did a wet curly cut to reshape her hair this past August, so because I'm cleaning up the ends on a shape I made, it doesn't matter that I'm cutting it blown out, I know where the angles are. And because her routine is consistent and she's doing what's necessary instead of doing the most, she literally only needs that little eighth of an inch trimmed away. I am going to use the new Chi Onyx 1 inch ceramic flat iron on 390 degrees to create barrel curls. A barrel curl is a continuous rotation with the iron that begins at the root by lifting the section, turning the iron and sliding hair through. This motion requires a balance of tension where you are gripping the iron more on the slide and releasing some tension to turn the iron at the end to finish the curl. It really just takes practice to get it in one pass. You want to make sure you are curling sections that are not larger than the plate size of the iron you are using. Since Kelly has dense hair and more texture, I am taking smaller sections because the blow dry tension was lower because of the brush that I used. Also, make sure you are using a heat resistant carbon tail comb when chasing a flat iron to prevent melting or burning. After all of the curls are done, we could definitely stop here because it is just gorgeous. But Kelly likes wraps, so I am going to add a tiny bit of chi oil and brush it around, insulate with a cap, and have her sit under my hooded dryer for about seven or eight minutes on medium heat. Then I am going to comb it down and we are finished. Beautiful, hydrated, smooth, freshly colored hair. You can find the Monos Hair Curl Collection in Sally Beauty stores and online at sallybeauty.com. You can find links to other thermal and color tutorials as well as links to everything used in this tutorial in the about section below this video or by visiting monoshair.com.